Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Uh, today's date, it is October 16th of 2019. The lighting isn't very good. I've got lamps in here. Maybe I should have just killed the lamps and uh, opened up the shade, get some daylight in here. It's uh, 5.11 p.m. Uh, I'm not sure how many of you... If you're new to the World Wide Web and the Internet and all that, you probably don't know about Yahoo, and you probably don't know about the Yahoo groups. Um, Yahoo is <clears throat> starting December 14th of 2019. Yahoo groups will no longer host <clears throat> user content created on its sites. Uh, new content can no longer be uploaded after October 28th. That's, uh, what, 12 days? 10 days would be the 26th. I think so. Um, Yahoo Groups used to be, you know, very popular, but, you know, things have changed. Uh, Facebook and uh, Twitter and all that crap. I use uh, Facebook. I mean, because, well, I don't like Facebook. I hate Facebook. I wish Facebook didn't exist. But I do go there probably once a day or something like that because I've got uh, family that posts there and I have friends that post there and people that I worked with and whatever. So I do go there and look around. But I hate Facebook. I don't like the way it works. Uh, it's just, but... Uh, I got where I hardly ever, I belong right now to uh, five, one, two, three, four, five Yahoo groups, which I hardly ever went to. And I think a lot of other people were in the same position as me. Uh, one of these is a, I'm in uh, Fort Worth, Texas. One of these is a local amateur radio club that uses that Yahoo group. Uh, and they post messages and files and things on there. Uh, quite helpful. The other, which I can't remember, is uh, but something I signed up for, and is a Dallas Fort Worth scanner group. And uh, it covers things picked up on scanners and on the radio frequencies or whatever. Um, now I've got I have that set where when they post something, it's emailed to me. That's one of you know you have a lot of possibilities with these young or did have, <clears throat> and so I would get messages occasionally from, uh, you know, or everybody would you know from the the scanner group, and then there's a uh, amateur radio for satellite uh, uh, communications through amateur radio satellites. Then there's a investors group that I uh, was signed up to that I never, I don't think I ever went to their group. Uh, I did own quite a bit of stock. Uh, it a very inexpensive. It was a very inexpensive stock. Well, it it got a lot less. It got, you know, it was uh, less than a dollar. It was a dollar stock, but it was less than a dollar. Uh, and then the other is a uh, a group about uh, a ham radio uh, software and uh, that amateur radio operators could use and stuff like that. Uh, so that's it. So, you know, these groups, probably most of them will change over to someplace else. Uh, other than Yahoo, I think they'll, you know, maybe one or two won't, and then that just cease to exist. And uh, but anyway, if you're using Yahoo, or if you have a group or something set up on it, uh, probably already, you know, a lot of these Yahoo groups are probably already uh, on Facebook. You know, people have them on Facebook also. So, but anyway, just wanted to pass that information 
on to you, especially if you are somebody who sets one up and maybe are, you know, depending on it in some way. You will remember that uh, I got the headset. Let's see. Uh, I don't see it here without going through. I did the review of the uh, headset, well, because Yahoo, I guess, not Yahoo, uh, Logitech bought Blue, and they had came out with that headset, and I wanted so bad. I made a number of videos, and all of you who I ask, I ask for uh, your thoughts on it, and none of you liked the headset using the Blue Yeti, or using the uh, X, what was it, whatever, the uh, software with the headset, you didn't like it, and since I have hearing difficulty, I depended on you, you all, and he didn't like it. Now, I was looking for it too. I have a Blue Yeti microphone. I can't find it, but it's here someplace. I used it for a very a short period of time. I think you liked it, but I didn't like it. I don't like those condenser type of microphones where it has to be right here in front of my face. Well, of course, but this is a headset, you know. Uh, and I just... Anyway. Blue has come out now with the Blue Yeti X, and it uses the software, that great software which didn't work. <laughs> um, now will work. they have a new Blue Yeti, and it's... Uh, do and improve, but it's a hundred and seventy dollars. I just cannot afford to uh, be spending a hundred and seventy dollars. And I already have a Blue Yeti microphone, except it, you know, this is some changes are made to this, and it uses their software. I watched a review, by the way, of this on YouTube. There's a guy on there that is into audio, he plays a guitar. And he's into music and he's into microphones. And I'm not sure what else he covers, but it seems like every time, every time there's, a, I mean, when he, he covers this microphone, if I can find the link again, I'll put the link in case you are interested. Because, I mean, he, when he does a microphone review, uh, he just goes into depth on it and, and uh, covers everything. So if I can find that, which I probably can, I will put the link for that. Um, I want to mention something else because I mentioned it. Let's see if I can, re I'll get one for you. Remember, I ordered some bed risers. Hang on a second. Oh, by the way, um, that reminds me. <laughs> no, let me, let me cover this first. Remember, I ordered four bed risers. Uh, this is a different company, a different because I ordered four. They come, they came full, and as soon as I ordered them, that company shipped them real quick. But they, but anyway, uh, about an hour or hour and a half later, I looked over at my bed and, well, wait a minute, I've got six legs on that bed. I need six, and I'd only ordered four of from a different company, a different, little different make. So I canceled after about an hour and a half, but uh, that company, you know, it wasn't uh, an item being shipped from the Amazon warehouse, but they boxed it up or whatever and had it, I guess, out the door. But they were able to issue a thing, and uh, it ended up looking, you know, saying customer had can't, rejected the thing. And so I, I got a refund, or you know how that goes, got a refund right away from, uh, but, 
But I, uh, so then I looked around and I found uh, this site that, uh, these are actually really substantial, you know. And uh, so I ordered in this because I have six legs on the bed over there. And I thought with my arthritis or whatever, and it may work the opposite direction, that um, if the bed came up three inches, that might help me get out of bed and even maybe get in it easier. But um, these came today, okay? They're not on the bed, so as you can tell. Uh, as you, if you've been watching my videos, you know I've been having one hell of a time. Uh, let me, uh, no, let's not do that. Uh, not make this more complicated than it is. Um, I've had a hell of a time, as you know, over the years with... Uh, office chairs in the beginning it was uh, just the imitation the leather stuff I mean coming off immediately and it'd be all over the floor I mean I'd look down and I'd think are those bugs you know it'd be a little tiny it was the uh, fake leather falling all over the place and that looked really bad And but then it seems like it went on before long the chairs I got they just didn't hold up, and I am 230 pounds, 240 pounds. The weight limit on those chairs is like 300, and, uh, uh, you know, a wheel broke on one. Uh, the last one, the uh, hydraulic, I, the last one was just about brand new. The hydraulic thing just went out, so it, and at first, you know, for a while, for a few weeks or a month or whatever, I could, it'd go down. It might go down immediately, you know, and I'd be way down here. And then I'd, you know, raise it up, lock it in. And then uh, sometimes it would stay for, you know, a little while. Then all of a sudden, you know, go down. I just took it out to the trash. But I'd already, I had bought, because I'd talked to you all about the fact that it looked like I just might as well just have, a company to send me a, a new office chair once a year. Like that's going to be a yearly, you know, one of the expenses you have to count on. Anyway, I bought a $59 chair with no hydraulic or whatever, not a lean back chair or whatever. I got that. And it was narrow and the arm things cut into my thighs. I Okay, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to show you my legs or my feet. But let's just say that they don't look too healthy. And I, those things were cutting in, you know, I didn't need anything else cutting off circulation to my legs. And uh chair looks, you know, brand new. But I think I'll probably, I don't have much room in here. I think it'll probably just be going out to the trash. Um, but anyway, I also had a regular folding chair. You know, those you go to some school event or something like that or a church picnic or whatever, and they have a hundred or so of these folding chairs, and they set them up, you know, and then when the event's over or whatever, they fold them up, stack them or whatever. So I got one of those, and of course it's low down, and it was Ah, hurting my back, hurting my feet, whatever. And uh, so when I got, I have a pillow also I'm sitting on on this folding chair. But I got these today and I thought, hmm, I wonder. And they worked. I've put this one under each leg of this chair. Actually, for the, and I have... I can actually slide around, which I couldn't do before with the uh, legs on this. And it gets me up to about the right height. But I'm still going to have to buy a, uh, you know, all of you, please 
use my link. If you're going to buy anything on Amazon, please use that. Can you see that okay? JimHoward.me. And if you, uh, if you use that, I created that just so it'd be easier than telling you to use Amazon slash shop slash HNBBS. And when you come here, you don't have to click on any of these little things I have set up that I've set up. Uh, you can just go purchase something. And if you purchase something, I'll get a commission and buy a lot and I'll get a, uh, I, th I think, I think the next office chair I'm going to buy, and they're about the same, they are about the same price. Uh, of course, they probably are the same chair, but it looks like office chairs, like 300 pounds. That's, you know, the limit for your weight. But then I saw on Amazon, uh, they've got chairs that look the same. And uh, they say the uh, limit on that is 500 pounds. And they indicate someplace that they have, uh, you know, heavier duty parts like the cylinder, you know, hydraulic cylinder and that type of stuff. So, and it's about, they're about the same price. I some of them are the same price, uh, say $150 or something like that for a chair. So that's going to be my next purchase. But please use this link here that you see up here, amazon.com slash HNBBS or what? This is a test. Do you remember? Have you been listening? There it is. It's gone. So, because it'd be nice, it'd be nice to have X amount of money every month coming in. And by the way, let me go here. It is. Here is how much I earn from Amazon commissions. I think I'm going to get paid $18 this month. Yes, I think that's it. Payment history. I think I'm going to get $18 this month, and yeah, $18.71. That is not going to buy me a comfortable chair to sit in. Not going to buy me one of those uh, new Yeti mics, which I really don't want to spend the money for. And as you can see, uh, last month I didn't get any money. Uh, the month before I didn't get any money. And the month before that I made $11.65. And the month before that, nothing. And the month before that, I made $20.88. Down here in February, I made $45. That still will not buy a... Uh, so all you need to do is just, when you're buying stuff from Amazon, one thing I like about this, and I have to mention this again to you, you know, I can come here and see how much I'm not making but I can also look down here and uh, see what people have purchased. But I, I cannot, I don't know who you are. I don't know what state you're in. I don't know, you know, it just shows what people have purchased. And I'm going to be purchasing, by the way, uh, sometime this, uh, somebody purchased dehydrated tomato powder. And let me open that in a new tab that looks interesting to me um, I make a lot of uh, right you know rice that comes in a box with stuff mixed with you pour it in and I added whatever I have around the house you know I have uh, summer sausage cut some of that up throw it in there or whatever I cut up uh, some uh, bologna and put that in there whatever so I'm, I think I'm going to check this out to have, be convenient to have uh, around. So I'm going to check that out. Um, and uh, somebody, well, I'll go ahead and I'll open this in a new tab too. Because I'll put the links, by the way. 
a new tab below. And uh, we lost power here last week. And uh, too, I might mention to you, I've got a really nice charger that charges uh, AA, AAA. I think that's it. It's a really nice one. I did a review of it years ago for you. And uh, we lost power the other day. And we, I have a couple of ham radios that have built-in LED lights. And we have, you know, uh, some flashlights and uh, stuff. But so then the power came back on after a couple of hours. And my, then my son noticed that uh, I have a grown son. I have an ex-wife. And my grown son, we all share the expenses on this apartment here. Um, he, I have a whole bunch of rechargeable batteries. And I have a really nice charger. And the AA batteries were, you know, I don't know. He didn't check them all. But he checked a bunch of them. They were all depleted. They had run down. I had charged them up. And I don't know. I didn't write down when I charged them up. But how long are they supposed to hold a charge? There again, time flies. You know, I think, oh, that was a month ago. And somebody says, no, that was six months ago. Oh, that was, what, a couple months ago. And that was two years ago. Or like when I had my pacemaker put in or something, I'll say, oh, that one. No, that was. So, uh, but this looks like a really good idea. Uh, glow sticks. Somebody purchased those. And I'm going to be buying some of those. Now, they don't put out as much light as one of these flashlights. But just to have one hanging uh, on a cord or something in the bathroom. So if you're in the bathroom, you know, you can uh, do that. Or have them hanging around the house or the apartment a little bit. And uh, you're not going to be reading by them. But I'm going to go ahead. Uh, I've got them on my list to uh, purchase. Um Let's see, is this the light? No. Uh -uh. So somebody purchased that. Sunglasses, I think. Somebody purchased that. Uh... Somebody purchased that. Flowering kale, ornamental, cabbage, bescal, I have no idea. Oh, it is. It's, it, uh, it's a pa seed package. A, in addition to any vegetable or flower garden, these plants can stand below freezing weather. Very nice, say, winter plants. Great fall to winter plants. Okay. I love plants, but... And I used to grow a lot, but uh, a few years ago, well, quite a few years ago, I don't know. Everything I touch that grows like a plant. Uh, somebody bought a hippie costume for Halloween, I guess. I could look like John Glenn, or John... Uh, I could look like... Kokomomo or Kimomoto, whatever her name was. Anyway. Um, I found this interesting and sad. I had no idea they had something like this. It's a headwear for women who ha are going undergoing chemotherapy or whatever. They have. It's a great idea, but uh, I... Uh, Be nice if we could find a cure for cancer, but there's so many different kinds of cancer. That's the problem. I've had a couple cancerous gross, you know, skin cancer removed. Um, uh, let's see. Okay, this is the thing I'm definitely going to order. This is something I definitely need. It's a light. 
and it it's adjustable you know it's you can pick the, the you know warm or white light or whatever and it goes right on it would work out great i have to keep a flashlight because it's hard for me to see then when i uh read a credit card number or do something or other i need a light and this is going to be something that that's a quite a bit of money 130 dollars but uh you know this one has it now you can get them cheaper and but this one has a controller and everything it would go down here so when i can afford okay buy more items on amazon well you don't don't have to buy it because you buy enough i just use my eyes link which is Come on. You knew there was going to be a test. JimHoward.me Guys, you're killing me. Come on here. I'll leave the link to this. Because I think that's really a... Uh, okay. What's this? Professional countertop. Oh, that's pretty cheap for it. I, I wonder if it kind of looks like it's maybe battery operated, you know what I mean? I don't know about this. My grandson, a uh, long time ago, not sure how old he was. I'm Okay, I'm going to guess. I'm going to say he's like, that he was like 12 or something. And I moved to Fort Worth or to uh, Carrollton, Texas, along with my uh, son. Yeah. And uh, I tried to talk my grandson into. Uh, take, you know, I said, I'll pay for martial arts. I think it'd be great for you to take Martin. Now, he's interested, he's interested in computers and computer gaming and everything. Come on, come on, I'll pay for it. You know, it'll be great. You will you don't have to worry about a bully, you know, or something, which he didn't have to worry about a bully. Not that he, it was just that uh, all he did was play computer games. But I forget what came up, but he went to the dentist and the dentist, you know, did the x-ray, and the dentist was like, oh, my God. You know, I, I've been a dentist for, I don't know how long, a long time. And uh, he said, I've only seen one case of this before. And my grandson's jaw was paper thin, you know, where the bone should be like this or something. It was paper thin. I blogged about it because I blogged about everything. I think that might have been back before there was a YouTube. Was it before there was a World Wide Web? I don't remember. But anyway, I blogged about it. But his... Uh, so, the dentist, what did he do? Can't remember. There's a name for it, by the way, you know, for that. It's very, pretty rare. But one slap, well, not, if, he, if he'd have gone to, uh, you know, <clears throat> one slap, well, anyway, just eating something could have shattered that, that, uh, <clears throat> that jaw. That would have been really bad. It was bad enough what he had, but he had to have, <clears throat> God, I can't remember now. He had to let the jaw build up, and it was months. He couldn't eat. He couldn't eat anything. Everything had to be malts or uh, something. I just I killed that, didn't I already? Or did I? Anyway, we had to have a blender, and uh, his uh, mother and grandmother made you know. And that's what he was, you know, everything went through the blender. And uh, thank goodness he didn't try to take martial arts or whatever because it would have, that first day that he went, uh, that would have shattered his jaw. And uh, 
So, I'm not sure if I could pull up that thing. It's been so long. Uh, I wish that I had, I've been online since 1982, posting material since 1982. I wish that I had saved everything in a way, in a way I don't, <laughs> because I didn't pay as much attention to spelling. I don't pay that much attention now, but uh, yeah, I'm just like I did a, a radio program back in, um, 19, oh, back when I was in high school, we're right out of high school, I was doing a radio program that was broadcast over shortwave radio to Europe, Africa, and Latin America two or three times a week, depending on ionospheric conditions, because they, WRUL radio uh, would change frequencies uh, to, you know, so they could cover the best conditions. And, uh, so my program would end up sometimes it was on, uh, two times a week and some seasons it was on three times, uh, a week. And, uh, so I, and when I started out, I re had, I recorded it at a local, radio station that was part of the network that was owned by the, or the shortwave station was owned by a network. And that, and that changed over the years too. Even for the Mormons for a while owned uh, these stations. But, uh, oh, so, there were a lot of a uh, lot of broadcasts, and thank God, oh thank God. Uh, apparently, none of them survived. None of them were saved. None of them have shown up, and I am grateful because of the mispronunciation of foreign words and people's names and all types of things. Um, the only thing I regret, and I can't, maybe if you're a ham radio operator. I don't have any old call books, and I can't remember that Elmo Melton, and but I can't remember the call sign. Uh, and I also have done a search. He put out a 45 RPM of the sounds of space, and every week I broadcast one of those with his permission, uh, you know, on the radio. And in addition, I gave the ionospheric, I gave ionospheric condition reports. George Jacob, who was the propagation engineer for the Voice of America, whatever, he sent them to me and gave me permission to use them. Whatever. So there was a lot going on, but um, I would like to, I've tried to, I would like, you know, Elmo Melton was an old man when I was a young, young man, and I don't know when he became a silent key when he passed away. Uh, but I'd like to, if there's some type of memorial to him, or if uh, I've tried to give like credit to him a few times, but all I remember is his name, Elmo Melton. I think it was M-E-L-T-O-N, and the 45 RPM that he sold was called the Sounds of Space. He was a pioneer in. Uh, I mean, we're talking about Sputnik One went up, and the Russians put up Sputnik One, and then the United States put up and. On at least one occasion, uh, the and I'm not sure that NASA existed right then, but in, I think maybe they did. But uh, it, I know at least once for sure, and I think more than once, uh, they launched a rocket into a satellite into space, and they couldn't find it. They didn't know if it had survived or if it had made it. And he picked up the radio signals and uh, contacted, Na let's say, NASA and said, uh, by the way, yes, uh, your satellite is, you know, transmitting on such and such a frequency and its apogee and its perigee is such and such. And they were enabled, you know, they were like, <laughs> they found, you know, 
I actually uh, did a space communications column, the first that I know of, but I'm sure somebody, but when Sputnik 1 went up, you know, I blogged about it in a written, you know, uh, form on a publication that I put out every, that I published every month and put the frequency and the apogee and the perigee and what it sounded like and uh, stuff like that. And then I did a, as more things were launched, I put the frequencies and, and uh, did all that type of stuff. So anyway, I, the main thing I wanted to tell you, if you happen to be somebody is that say goodbye to Yahoo groups. I'm not sure what in the heck will Yahoo have left. Uh, I never go to Yahoo. Let's go to Yahoo and see. Oops, no. Okay, Yahoo. Come on. No wonder I can't. Oh. Okay, let's just go here. We'll do this, and we'll click on Open in a New Tab just for Yahoo. Okay, this is going to be it here. No. Yahoo here. This is it. No, this is it. Oh, I see the same thing as opening up. Okay. Okay, let's do this. Okay, we need to go to the home then. Okay. So there you are. So they have a home page that they would love for you to make your home page. And I'm sure you could put all kinds of stuff. I guess I have one. Let's click on this and see what... Uh, uh, do I have one? I'm sure I do. Anyway, anyway, you know, I I think I don't know what Yahoo's. Uh, maybe somebody's taking them over. They used to be taking, taking everybody over. Man 58, who was arrested after his family was held in a secret room for nine years, is not their father. Oh, okay, great. <laughs> the Netherlands. It's not the United States. For the first time, somebody who's crazy is not a U.S. citizen in uh, Florida or Texas. It's somebody in the Netherlands. So there are crazy people who are not Americans. My God, what a revelation. Thank you very much for watching. Oh, come on, guys. What is the link? JimHoward.me. Dot M-E. Okay, thank you. You're going to purchase a ton of stuff, I'm going to get a whole lot of commissions, and then I can buy all kinds of stuff that I get to own and play with, and in return, I will maybe do a review and tell you about it. But the important thing is jimhoward.me. Thank you very much.